Uh, you all know uh, from the agenda that the next uh, item uh, is the announcement of the uh, inaugural uh, Gerald Befko Faculty Community Engagement Award. And uh, you also know that Dr. Befko uh, will be the one who is making uh, that uh, announcement. Um, Jerry's bio is in the program uh, booklet, and uh, many of you already uh, know uh, uh, Jerry and his background. I just wanted to add a, a few remarks. Um, I came to the commission as the academic officer just a year before Jerry became chancellor of IUPUI, so I've had the uh, privilege of working uh, with him uh, in his capacity as chancellor for uh, some 17 years. And after that, uh, Jerry was on the commission for uh, 10 years and uh, chaired the uh, Academic Affairs uh, and Quality Committee. Uh, you all know that he is a distinguished scholar uh, and a superb uh, teacher. And among his many uh, accomplishments at IUPUI uh, was a renewed emphasis on undergraduate education, uh, which is perhaps uh, best signified uh, by the establishment of University College in uh, 1998, I believe it was. And uh, in addition, uh, IUPUI, uh, established the uh, BEPCO Scholars and Fellows Program that is designed for students who demonstrate integrity, dedication, leadership, and most importantly to this setting, a commitment to service. So how fitting then is it that the Faculty Community Engagement Award, which is uh, about to be given for the first time, uh, should be named for Gerald BEPCO. So with that, Jerry, I ask you to come up, and before uh, you uh, make the announcement, we have something for you, which is uh, I would like to give you, uh, on behalf of the Commission and Governor Holcomb, uh, this uh, Distinguished Hoosier Award. Thank you, Ken. You're very gracious, and I appreciate that. <clears throat> uh, it's my pleasure to announce the inaugural recipients of this Gerald Epco Faculty Community Engagement Award. Uh, the award will be presented biennially uh, in the future um, uh, by the commission uh, to recognize Indiana faculty who are exemplars of the scholarship of community engagement. Recipients of the BEPCO Award are model faculty members currently engaged in teaching, research, or service commitments that contribute to the greater good of their communities. And further, the, commission, the Commission's core principles of being a higher education system that is student centered, mission driven, and workforce aligned. Um, I uh, uh, have been uh, attracted by those uh, words. Uh, they make uh, a great deal of sense to me. Uh, and congratulations in putting it that way on behalf of the commission. Uh, recipients of the scholarship uh, or the award will uh, receive a $500 grant to further their engagement. There are 12 tremendous submissions that were communicated by the universities, all deserving of recognition. In fact, we had such a difficult time selecting one recipient and only one recipient for this year, the inaugural year, that it was decided by the leaders of this movement to offer two awards this year. Uh, it's my uh, pleasure to announce the first recipient of those two awards. Uh, and the award that comes first is um, Ball State University's School Within the 
context of community program. This is an extraordinarily good step forward for Ball State, for the Ball State student body, uh, and for the state of Indiana. Uh, I'd like to say thank you by uh, giving some applause to the people who created it. <laughs> I welcome Ball State University's faculty, uh, the team, to the stage uh, to accept their award and maybe a couple of, make a couple of uh, appointment or comments about their program. I think everyone would like to hear more about this uh, extraordinary positive step forward. So can we get the Ball State people? I am or Ball State. Uh, well, <laughs> since it's you, you could, you could take over for the whole team. Okay, thank you very much. I appreciate Excuse that. Me. I'm accepting this award on behalf of my team, which includes a long list of people at Ball State University. We appreciate the support of the Office of Community Engagement, which has been essential on the 10-year partnership that we've had in the Whiteley community in Muncie, Indiana. Uh, my team consists of Kristen Chipalone, Eva Zygmunt, Sharon Fraser Burgess, Dorchelle Stewart, and Karen, uh, Catherine Fletcher. Sorry. Um, we have been embedded in the Whiteley community in the last 10 years. It is a true partnership in the sense of every word I've heard today about partnerships. Um, it's mutually beneficial. We don't come into the community and tell them what they need. They, we meet together in common ground and to decide what will work best for, to meet all of our goals. The mentors in the Whiteney community have poured thousands of hours into the preparation of our pre-service teachers at Ball State University. They serve as community mentors. Each of our candidates is matched with a community mentor family who serves as a cultural liaison for that uh, community. They fr form long-term relationships that last for years and years and years. So I'm accepting this award on behalf of the Whiteley community as well. Our community partner could not be here today. She has a an illness in her family, but I'd like to thank them for their true partnership and the loving relationships that we share with them. Thank you. I as, as I mentioned, I, I think uh, the people who decided on the winning teams or among the winning teams had a difficult time uh, only selecting one uh, and a lot of discussion was devoted to that uh, and it was determined that uh, uh, there should be a second award made in this inaugural year uh, and that second award uh, is to Purdue University uh, their engineering projects and community service program Will the Purdue University group please come up and accept your award? Congratulations. I, I take special uh, uh, pride in this award uh, because. Uh, part because uh, I was uh, fortunate enough at some point along the way for doing what I'm not sure, uh, but Purdue University awarded me an honorary doctorate degree and I've cherished that and it hangs in, uh, in a, an important place in my uh, home uh, office. So thank you. And th congratulations to you on this uh, award. Um, thank you. Our, our EPICS program actually has a team of about 57 people, which I will not list or I, we'll get the other. Um, so I kidded Andy a, a little bit when he um, gave his dis disciplinary graphic. Uh, oh, that's where you are. And I said engineering was not up there. <laughs> um, e EPICS was created before I actually got um, to Purdue, and I have the privilege of, of directing the program. Um, 
It is a program that's housed in a college of engineering but supported through the provost and it's multidisciplinary. Um, the last five years, we've averaged 40 different majors participating in a design course together. Um, it's a little different than a lot of the engagement that we talk about because it is, it is um, based on long-term partnerships, but it is project-based. It is doing multiple projects within that partnership. Um, we have some of our partners that we've worked with for more than 20 years with, within the community. We work uh, locally, globally. Uh, we've engaged uh, almost 1,300 students this academic year, uh, working on over 150 projects with 54 different community partners. Um, it, it is a, a privilege to work at the program. I'm, I'm very grateful for the support that we get from, uh, from Purdue. I'll give a little shout out that we've also found uh, ways to engage high schools and training teachers to actually replicate this program into local high schools and middle schools. We do training in the summer. Uh, I know in our state we've got some other programs um, that introduce students, um, but it's been very successful. We also work with universities around the world. We've got 53 other universities with programs like ours. Um, I'm very grateful for the recognition and for the work for the commission. Thank you very much. Thank you and congratulations to uh, both universities and to the leaders from those universities that produce these extraordinary and, and uh, excellent uh, proposals. And uh, I'd like to just say one other thing. Uh, I have been caught by the uh, power of those words that are, I think, part of the Commission for Higher Education's um, text on this subject, that uh, the academic program should be student-centered, mission-driven, and workforce-aligned. Uh, I tried to live that uh, idea when I was working uh, for Indiana University, and uh, I think it... Uh, along with all of the other things that are being done right now under the leadership of Teresa Lubbers, who has been an outstanding commission for higher education over a long time now. I think he may be the longest serving commissioner in Indiana University's history, uh, and, and deservedly so because you've done such a great job. Uh, it seems to me that uh, this is a time when people should be celebrating the educational opportunities that are available to people in Indiana and, and uh, the successes that have been created among our populations. And, and it seems to me this is uh, the kind of thing, this particular project and many others that are being uh, fostered by the Commission for Higher Education will result in Indiana moving uh, higher and higher in the uh, uh, rankings of the states in the United States in terms of the quality of education and the quality of the people who uh, come through uh, that educational process. So congratulations to Teresa and to all of you for the great work you're doing. Thank you, um, Dr. Bepko. You certainly did live a life that was student-centered, mission-driven, and workforce development. So thank you for all of your work. And we're proud that you're the named honoree for the recipients for the community.